Hello there, it's Katia from Moonlight Baby Sleep. Um, I wanted to show you uh, one of the sleep aids um, that I haven't really spoken to you about much um, or haven't promoted enough um, and it's uh, something that you will find uh, useful now that the temperatures are changing um, as we head into spring here especially here in Melbourne um, and it's, yeah, I guess especially here in Melbourne that the temperature fluctuates so much from the day into the night. Um, so uh, keeping our baby's room temperature is important to, in keeping them asleep. Um, so very young and newborn babies can't regulate their own body temperatures. Um, so make, by us making sure that we know exactly that they are sleeping in a, in a room... Uh, with a temperature between uh, anywhere between 16 and 20, 22 degrees tops um, is ideal for sleep, um, for healthy sleep. Um, so that we are making sure that they are not becoming too cold or too hot um, is, um, you know, will help us get a longer night, night off sleep ourselves. Um, so as some of you know, um, you know, I promote or work with, um, sleep aids that do actually help. And this little gadget, which is the grow egg, um, to buy the grow company, um, is an excellent tool, um, to show us, um, at a glance what your baby's room temperature is. So, um, this is the second version. Um, the first version was slightly smaller and had an internal temp uh, a thermometer, I believe. Um, whereas this one is slightly bigger um, and um, has the thermometer on the outside. So it is more accurate. Um, and um, the beauty of this grow egg is that um, it shows you with color um, what your baby's room temperature is at so a um, blue and I'll show you the box actually I'll plug it in first um, and the other um, upgrade or the other uh, improved feature of this grow um, egg is that it comes with a USB connector where before it had a normal plug so the USB connector uh, makes it more um, makes it portable so that if you do travel when we are outside of <laughs> COVID restrictions um, you can take it anywhere around the world um, so it gives you um, you know versatile um, traveling options but um, anyway we won't talk about that too much because it will make me that we can't travel um, but yes yeah, so I'll, I'll plug it in and, and I'll also lower the light so you can, there you go, see, there you go, okay, there you go. So it is of a red color in this room because it is 27 degrees. I know that you might see it different way, how I'm seeing it, um, but it is this room in which I am currently in would be too hot for your baby to sleep in. Or um, you would, um, so you have basically options to manipulate um, a room. You would either cool it down or make sure that your baby is laid appropriately. So using a really light tog sleeping bag um, or, for example, if a newborn is swaddled, um, that they have less layers underneath the swaddle. Um, so I'll show you um, because I can't lower it in here. I will show you. So here the grow egg would um, show or light up with a blue color to indicate a 16 degrees and below um, in the in the room. So in that case, you would either use a um, three and a half tog uh, sleeping bag to warm your baby up or um, make sure they are appropriately uh, layered or obviously use a heater or a heating um, option uh, to make sure that the room is then 
at the best possible um, temperature, which would be between 16 and 20 degrees, according to this grow clock. Though I just uh, think that um, up to 22 degrees is quite okay for your child. Um, so you've got the the cold setting ideal would be the yellow. Uh, then the orange um, would indicate uh, a temperature between 20 and 24 degrees. Um, and anything above 24 degrees is too hot, which is the colouring of this current room in which I find myself in, which is now going, it's 26. Um, so again, look, it's a, it's a beautiful product. Um, back in the day when I had my first child, I had a digital thermometer with no lighting. So though it told me the temperature, I couldn't see it. Um, and I had to walk into the room um, and it was this tiny little thermometer um, and I had to shine a light on it or turn on the light um, for it to help me see the room temperature. Not ideal. But this little gadget um, is a really good sleep, um, a sleep aid because um, it just gives you the, um, it ensures that you know exactly what the room temperature is. Um, and you can um, make sure that your baby baby is safe. Um, again, I guess, you know, it's a beautiful slick um, uh, product. Um, it's a silicon, so it's a really nice um, textured um, dome-shaped egg. Um, it is... Uh, yeah, it's soft, it's beautiful. Um, the thing, I guess my favorite feature is that you can actually turn it off. Um, so down below, it's got a little button which um, helps you regulate the brightness level. So at the moment, it's on its uh, highest level and then you can turn it down, down another level. So it's got the three, so it's brightness, medium, low, and then turn it off completely so that you can just quickly read um, the digital numbers. Um, but again, ideally you want it to be shining on that um, beautiful yellow light, which again, it gives you dual purpose um, as a night light. So say it was turned off during the night and you needed to check on your baby, you can quickly press the button and it would um, turn on that yellow light and it would give you enough visibility to see your baby. Um, you know, if you needed to change a nappy um, or even for feeding, it's enough lighting so that you can see around um, quite closely, uh, but not disturb your baby from actually waking up. Um, any night lights above the bed, the cot, um, will interfere with your baby's uh, sleeping rhythms because as the brain can detect light, it can actually cause your baby to wake up. So again, this is why I recommend the Sleep Egg 2, um, because you can safely tell what the temperature of the room is, um, and it also indicates and gives you the information as to what tog um, of sleeping bag you should be using uh, for each of the temperatures. Um, the great company have these beautiful sleeping bags. Um, I don't actually stock them, um, but you can get like a series whether you want a um, you know a winter a winter tog and a and a, a winter um, and a summer um, sleep, sleeping bag, and then manipulate the temperature with your heating and cooling at home. I think that would be enough. Um, and you would also use layers to um, also um, take off or increase underneath um, to also help with um, heating and cooling. Um, but again, checking the room temperature and using it as a nightlight um, for, you, for you to have that visibility, not your baby. Anyway, um, these are, look, I, I think they're super sleep, beautiful, great gift. Um, I wish I had one of these when I was um, a mother of a young bub. Um, I would have definitely invested in one of these. I think they are selling for um, 50, th I should check. I'll list it on, I'll, I'll um, what's 
the word? Tag, that's the word. I'll tag the product on this post. Um, but yes, they are super cute. If you do have any questions, send them my way. I'm happy to answer them in um, the post below. And um, yes, again, love this product. I think it's useful, it's essential. You always need to make sure that your baby's sleeping environment is safe, um, especially with newborn babies. So just to reduce the risk of SIDS. Um, and then you sleep at, you know, with peace of mind that um, your baby's not going to become too hot or too cold and, you know, making them wake up through the night. We all want to enjoy a good night of sleep and we all want to avoid any wakings throughout the night. So this will help out. All right. Um, enough from me. I hope everyone's doing well. Sending everyone a virtual hug, a kiss and... Um, Yes, if I can help anyone, give me a call. Bye.